come on. Hello guys, how are we doing? Right, it's 4.45 p.m. Welcome to the new video. Uh, and while I'm waiting for um, something to eat before the game, well, you all know what this video is. You all know what this episode is. Up the greens, this night doesn't get any bigger than any of this season so far. Don't care if we're top, don't care if those Grecians are so much further down the table compared to us. This is easily and obviously the biggest game of the season so far because it is the Devon Derby. One in green, which are the best, and one in red, which we don't like to support at all. It's our first Devon Derby since 2019. We all know what the score happened at the park that day. We're not going to talk about it, let's just say that now. Um, it doesn't matter to, the, um, to us anyway because we got promoted that season. Exeter didn't get promoted like they usually don't, apart from last season, because last season was an exception. But yeah, um, and it's on Sky tonight, and probably the whole of the West Country, and probably the whole of England will be watching tonight. There's no Premier League football on tonight either, so yeah, I think everyone football related is going to tune in to us amazing Greens, Argyle, take on Exeter City Football Club. Oh God, okay, right, so I've gone with 5-2 to us, Plymouth. Uh, so, yeah, I know I'm hoping a hammering tonight, but I'm hoping the game is crazy as, etc. also as well, because it's a derby. I hope at least one Exeter player gets sent off tonight. I hope their new manager gets sent off tonight. This will be my second night in two days for Halloween, so I went clubbing in Falmouth in my um, in my um, in my um, habitatal home, Cornwall, on Saturday night with a few of my good friends down there. Uh, so yeah, honestly, ah, uh, oh, tonight doesn't get any bigger than this for me, Cornish Jana, for the three lads I work with from the Argyle way: Harvey Rosevear, Harvey England, and Liam Martin. Harvey England will also surely be vlogging on his channel as well, so make sure you subscribe to that too. And yeah, no, honestly, it won't get any bigger than this. And um, yeah, it's going to be mental as well. The fans will go mental at each other. It's a derby for crying out loud. It wouldn't shock me in the, in the, in the slightest. But yeah, tonight, here comes nothing. It's the derby, and then we've got to wait to again to go to their ground in April. Come on, you Janners, up the Pilgrims, up the Greens, come on, you Plymouth, up the Argyle. The Devon Derby, one of the biggest rivalries in English football. The biggest clash of football for not just Devon, but for the people of Cornwall too. The hub of football for the far southwest of England. Home to the city of Exeter, the United of Torquay, and of course, the mighty Argyle of Plymouth. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Halloween, Sky Sports, Monday Night Football. Both clubs, well, not Torquay, will be aiming for bragging rights from this match, even if we're top of the league. And because we are the best, us Greens will take up the challenge of Exeter travelling 40 miles down to Home Park. No matter what the perils, no matter what the hardships, no matter what... You are taking the... 
while I'm walking to the ground as well. Right, well, that's my look ruined for tonight now, when I'm meant to be going out as well. For God's sake, rain. I can't see a thing. I actually can't see a thing. It tips that much. My glasses are, are just fog. Right, just something quick to warm up myself up for the derby before the game, before the game. Big shout out to Perillas Fish and Chip Shop in Mutley, Plymouth. So yeah, that will be my fuel sorted before tonight's massive game. Come on, you Janners. Right, that's what the weather's done to me. Oh my days. Ugh. I bloody ran for a bit during that as well. Oh, that monstrosity of a shower has really struck so far tonight. And it had to be while I was walking to the ground. Oh, oh man. You know what? That rain is there to show it's going to be a mental game tonight, probably, but also because it's Halloween and it's Halloween loves the rain and especially the thunder and lightning, which I don't think we're going to get because I feel cold. But oh my God, that got me soaked. Right, here's the view of Plymouth doing all this. Normally I would go to the hoe if I had more time today, but I was uploading the preview for the Argyle way of this Devon Derby. Uh, please give it a watch. It's out on the Argyle way now, when you can. Even though this video I know will be uploaded after the game, but by all means watch it anyway. Rose Veer has a lot of voice cracks. Oh my days. But yeah, that's, that was the view of Plymouth. And uh, there's one message. Devon and Cornwall as well it's green up the pilgrims it's not just that Devon is green Devon is absolutely soaked oh my days just had to be now didn't it it just had to be some point today didn't it my hair is now officially ruined for not just watching the game but for Halloween tonight before I get soaked any further, I'm now about to arrive to the ground for tonight, for the big match tonight. I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a harder game now. now it's absolutely just tips down, hasn't it? And uh, I finally managed to record a segment where I don't get absolutely shattered by rain. Uh, only in the West Country this happens. Only in the West Country. If this was East Anglia or the Midlands, oh yeah, it'd still be dry. Or London. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Or if this was the South Coast Derby as well, it would probably still be dry. As this is a Derby day, I'm just having a look at what the conditions are like down there. Because obviously, the away fans are going to be going around that left corner there to get to their, the away stand tonight. Uh, two ambulance cars lined up already. I can hear chants already, but I was just going to say, yeah, the situation update is, I've been told, um, someone's just said it, that he's a fan of me. <laughs> I've been told that a group of Exeter fans are on the GWR or cross-country train right now, heading to this ground together. So, yeah, that they're all coming in a band, I guess. So... Hopefully for them tonight, for their 40 mile journey, it ends up in disappointment for every single one of those red fans up the Argyle, come on the greens. All right guys, so I'm joined by Barney, Max and Tom, and they all support Well Club, I can't really say around here, <laughs> can I? But yeah, no. First of all, how are you finding the season so far, yeah, guys? quality, really good. Yeah, yeah first. First season in League One. Good Amazing. to be back in League One for yeah. you lot. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, really good. It's fantastic, it's showing the right, the club's going in the right direction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Really real promise to the fans, making them yeah, believe in it. Yeah, yeah. Especially after the Wembley three-week Wembley trips. Yeah. So it's nice to do it the proper way and actually get 
Massage, yeah, which is yeah, good. Fair enough. Um, yeah. What's the score going to be tonight? I think, I think City will get a goal, though, but 2-1. OK, fair enough. 2-1. Yeah, yeah. You're all going Plymouth Wednesday. Yeah, I know. We're back in the team tonight. Yeah, yeah. 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 I will be honest, I've got 5-2. Okay. Oh, oh, who's going to score for you, Lord? Uh, I think. I don't know who we're going to score. Uh, I mean, think Giovanni Brown will score. Giovanni? Yeah, fair enough. If anyone's going to do it, yeah. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Who would you say has been your best player of the season so far? Nombe has been pretty good. Yeah. Um, obviously, Stansfield. Is there anyone you um, highly rate at Argyle? Uh, your keeper's quite good. Cooper. Yeah, yeah no, I love him. He's my favourite player. Yeah, yeah, I love him. Absolutely love him. He's a bit... It's, the talk around him, though, is really hard at the moment because I have people around me that support Argyle going, yeah. oh, he'll be off to the Prem next season. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, please don't say this yeah. to me. Oh, no, it's, it, he's quality, though. He's quality. I, I, there were even people talking about he might even be in three months. Yeah, yeah. It's like a third choice keeper yeah. or something, but yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But yeah, no. Um, but no, that's 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 good. You're enjoying the season so far. Yeah, we've been knocking on the door for so long. Yeah. yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. But I think it's even going to be harder now because I walked here and it was soaking and yeah. and I got soaked and I was like, yeah. I was like, right, well that's it. It's going to be a draw if we're not yeah. if we're not careful. How many fans are you lot bringing tonight? Like 2K. 2K. That's very good. That's Sold out. very good. Sold out the away end. No, that's very oh, good. Oh, sold out 24 hours, didn't yeah, it? Very yeah. good. It really is going to be a derby tonight. It's, it's literally. Real. There's. I know this. I know there's going to be police turning up. Yeah, first yeah. of all, second of all, I found out. I've just been told by a fan that. Uh, oh, that, um, that, that there's like there's so many of them on the train right now yeah, heading yeah, this way, and that's yeah. they're going to start you know, doing the barriers and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, Apparently they've closed the road. And, right. and third of all, it's Sky Sports, so a lot of people. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's another game on tonight, is no, there? No. So no, I think We're everyone's going to be watching event. tonight. So yeah. And the minute it tipped down, I was like, it had to be in the West Country, yeah. didn't it? It had yeah. to be in the West Country for both of our big games. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, honestly, no. Um, where did you have Exeter to finish this season? Uh, I had predictions. About 10. Oh, that's not, that's I had a little bit lower, I had a little bit lower, I had 14 to 16. Right, we have made it, we have made it to the fortress for the biggest game of the season. No matter where we are on the table, look at that. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Down in Plymouth, we're all known as Channers. Listen to that roar, that is amazing. That's unbelievably good. We have, we have made it. So, six minutes in, nil-nil, here in the Devon Derby. Oh, yeah. So yeah, guys, I've just finished the turnstile job. Here we are then, Plymouth versus Exeter. Mayflower ends today, tonight. And here's our lovely home fans. There's the away fans, right there. All come to visit from 40 miles up. up. Oh, no, not quite. It's quite. Well, they're not right on that one. Boys, come on, come on. Have a shot. Oh, no, Blackman saved it. Oh, he saved it. Jamal has saved it. That's the best chance I've seen from us so far in this, uh, in this derby. Oh, Guile. Come on, Halton. Oh, that's over, that's over, much to their delight. So the Exeter fans have just said, the, the Exeter fans have just said, we pay your benefits. That's disgusting, honestly, in every single level, disgraceful. Nah, do one, honestly. Take them on, take them on. Close, close. Corner Argyle. Come on. Not quite what we hoped. And Exeter have won the ball back. Brilliant, meaning annoying. You're joking me. You're joking me. Oh man. You are absolutely joking me. This is also why I don't want to be put next to you, but I'm not happy about that at all. Oh no. Oh my god. 
God. You are joking me. I want to be sick. God help me for the rest of this game. Help me, help me, help me. Go on, Whittaker! Whittaker! Yeah! There's trouble already. What all? Get in, boys. Get in. There's trouble down there, but it's 1 1. Get in, lads. Green Army. Get in, Greens. What a finish as well. Game on. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, that's a yellow, surely, for that Exeter player there. That was mental. Half an hour, it's raining in the derby again. That was such a poor touch from that Exeter player there. So have some of that. God, Sam, have a shot. Ref, that's a penalty. That's a penalty. And he hasn't given anything. You know what's funny about Exeter, though? They're saying f*** off back to Cornwall. We own Cornwall and Devon. They are a small town in Somerset. Exeter have got a corner. But no, they say, they say, they say F off back to Cornwall. But let's be honest, Devon and Cornwall is our goal no matter what. Both of them. They're just a small town in Somerset. It's a Grecian's corner. Well done, Michael. Listen to them. Shut up, you arrogant sods. Come on, Joe. Anyway, let's back the boys. That's the main thing. What's the score going to be at the end of the game, Pete? Oh, no worries. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Pete's obviously busy, but yeah. Same chance again. They don't learn their lessons, do they, the Exeter fans? Ridiculous. Go on, take him on. No, not quite, Morgan, but oh well. Come on, keep going. Oh, never quite. I thought it was going to be a, I thought it was going to be a fight then. What's the referee saying? Go on, Joe. Just take your throw in. That's not what we were hoping for. Go on, Scar. Well, that's half time, one all. They'll be very happy with the points, but on from our point of view, we need to win, lads. We need to win. We've got a big second half coming up here in the derby. Well done, lads. Well done. What's 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 your thoughts on the game so far, mate? Plymouth better win this one. But, yeah, yeah, agreed. We've been playing a bit, <laughs> but you know. We're going to win, I reckon. Who's been our best player so far, mate? Uh, I'll probably say Whitaker. Yeah, you know what? Scored. Yeah, fair enough. That was limbs, wasn't it, when we equalised? Unbelievable. Yeah. No, fair play, fair play. Well, <laughs> yeah, we got a big second half coming up. Yeah, that's All the best. We yeah. All the best Let's hope, mate. Let's. I don't know if that cross is too high or not. Oh, it's not too bad. Now nah, we're just keeping possession of this, right? What's happening? We've got the ball. Are we going to cross it? Oh, no, that's unlucky, but we've kept it. We've kept it. Oh, for crying out loud. We've got a corner, though. Come on, Greens. No, that's wise. Oh, my God. That was so close. Could have been 2-1. Could have been 2-1, Travis. Yeah, I had it down as 5-2. I don't think it's going to be that unless it really is um, lively in the second half. Oh, God. No, no, no. Oh, my God. You're joking me. It's all good. We lost the ball in the middle. And now they're 2-1 up. This is bad for Argyle. This is bad. All because we lost the ball in the middle of the pit and Exeter have bloody taken advantage. For God's sake. And Sam 
I'm so bad with pronunciation. Sam Noom has just slotted it past Cooper. Oh! This is bad for us. This is bad. Come on, lads. You need to wake up. They're obviously delighted. Look at them. We're fuming. Need to bounce back, boys. Come on, Greens. Still so got another chance here at this rate. Thank God for that. Have some of that, Grecians. I'm not going to lie, though. They are playing well these last few minutes. This is awful for us. We need to wake up. This is just... This is... I want to be sick. Jesus Christ. So I say that again, Travis. This is this is disgraceful. Oh no, nearly 57 minutes. We've got to do everything we can between now and 10 o'clock to bounce back. I know I don't want just a point, but at this rate with where everything's going, I'll take a point at the moment just to stay unbeaten. But we need the freaking three points. Not these lot winning. Look at them, not these lot winning, no. Come on, take them on! Right, we got a corner, that's sight of hope. Come on, Blackman spilt it! Take advantage! Go on, Mumba! Yes! Get in! Oh my god, it's two all, Travis! Come on, come on! What a goal! 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 2-2! Two, 2-2! Two. Two, two. It's 2-2! Two, two. That's more like it from us! Bally Mumba, you legend! This is why it's the derby! Who are ya? 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 Hey! I mean, look at down there. Oh my god. This is much more like it from us. 2-2! Two, two. Oh! Oh go! I bashed my leg while celebrating. Doesn't matter. 2-0. That's much like it. More like it from Plymouth. Niall Ennis is off. Well done, Niall. And Ryan Hardy's coming on. Can I just say, I knew Hardy would be on the bench. And I said in my preview on the Argyle Way, if you haven't seen it yet, please go and watch it. You never know, he could come on and score the winner. Right, so it's now a front three of Hardy, Cosgrove and Whittaker, showing that we're going for the winner at this rate. Oh, we were close. We were close. Right, Exeter have just brought, brought on one of their best players, Giovanni Brown. I'm well shocked he's on the bench, to be honest. Right, Dan Scar has got a mug and mark Giovanni all game. Come on, defence, you can do this. And you, Cooper, you legend. Cosgrove's been brought down. But the ref's playing on. Come on, lads, defend this. Well done. Mumba, our guy again. Yeah, I don't know how the Exeter fans can say Michael Cooper's They're only saying that just because their keeper's the same rated as his on FIFA. You're having a laugh. You've seen my rant on the Argyle way, so here's my mini rant here. Right, corner for the Rotten Cousins.
as it stands, oh, oh my God, look at over there, look at the end of Lindhurst. As it stands, a repeat of the Shrewsbury game. I don't want to speak too soon, but f it, it's a goal. 3 2 Argyle. Let's go, Travis. And I called it. I called it. I said Harvey would come on and score. Oh my God, yes. Look at that. Have some of that, Exeter. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, punch it out. Breath. We are top league. Say we are top league. We are top league. Say we are top league. Come on, lads. Let's defend this. Do not let them score. Guys, clear it, clear it. Oh my god, they just hit the bar. We hate Exeter, say we hate Exeter. We hate Exeter, say we hate Exeter. Exeter City, you'll always be s. Hey, yeah, sit down, shut up. Up the Football League we go. Oh my god, look at the rain. Look at the rain. E -I -E -I -E -I -O. Up the football league we go. Oh God, no, no, no. Get rid of it, boys. Oh my God. Oh, thank God it's offside. Cooper nearly lost the ball. Exxon could have gone, had a third. Oh my days. The weather doesn't help though, does it? You're not singing, you're not singing anymore! Well, he's not, is he? Oh, Cooper, he's one of our own. Have some of that. That's what you deserve when your keeper undeservedly gets the same rating on FIFA, you melons. Oh, Ryan! It's four! It's four! Prediction is on. It could be five. One more. My prediction's on. It's four two. Get in. Yes. And this is why we cannot sell Ryan in January. Oh, Argyle. Oh, and you fed it up to one. And you fed it up to one. Please, Cosgrove. Please make it through. Oh, not quite, not quite. My prediction's still on. My prediction is still on. I said 5-2, it still could be 5-2. It's 4-2 at the moment. To us amazing greens. Time. Argyle are massive, everywhere we go. City get batters, everywhere they go. Come on lads, let's get, let's finish this off. Oh, hang on. I thought it was going to be a fight now at the moment. Oh, don't let them get a third for crying out loud. Well done, Scar. Oh, yeah, you're so hard, aren't you? You're not too one up, are you? Yay! So arrogant. And so salty. Yeah, you're not too well up, aren't you? Now, you muppets. 
Cupid Exeter. for me ah suck on that one Exeter come on Argyle yeah come on yeah this guy didn't win did he oh my god what a match actually get in and this is what it's all about. This is why it's the derby when you have games like that. Come on! And we're the winners, so even better. Sit on desire. On Halloween as well, and on Sky. La 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 Poor Exeter. <laughs> what happened to them tonight? Oh, what a win for us Greens. Oh, oh, oh. oh Travis, that doesn't get any better than that. Please. Come on! Come on! I don't care, I don't care. Come on, come on. What are you saying? What are you trying to do? Come on. Come on. Look at this amazing badge. Exeter get battered everywhere they go. Just what we want to see. And that's why this is the derby. Get in, you legends. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. You know what that means? That win just doesn't get any better than that. Oh, man. What a night on a cold, miserable, raining night. It's one of the best cold, miserable, raining nights. Up the greens, let's go. All right, guys, as you can see, I bought a new hat. Why not? Full time, Argyle 4, Exeter City <laughs> 2. Um, Tony, how are you feeling after that one, my friend? Oh, fantastic, mate. What a that result. just shows why we've got such a phenomenal <laughs> derby. Yes, exactly. I got a fan, it turns out. What's your name? Steve. Nice to meet you, Steve. You can get in the vlog if you want. Yeah, you'd love to. What do you think, Steve, of the game? Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Who was your best player today, tonight, guys? Oh, Bally Mumba. Bally Mumba? Bally Mumba. Yeah, fair yeah. enough, fair enough. Yeah, I don't think he knows what he's doing half the time, really. I think, I think, I think, he can, I think his legs, his legs. Yeah, I think he makes it up as he goes I along, but he, he makes it up very well, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. I see what you mean. Confident for Lincoln away now in two weeks. Oh, well, I'm easy. confident in every game. Yeah. Just confident. shows why we're top of the league, definitely. Why, why Bef confident in every game. Before the game, what did you lads. Before the game, what did you guys have, score prediction wise? 3-1 uh, I went for. 3-1 Argyle. Yeah, 2-1 yeah, yeah, for me. 2-1. Yeah. yeah. No, fair enough. Honestly, no. I can just say what a uh, what a game, honestly. That just shows why this is one of the best fixes in the whole of England. So oh, yes. Oh, it's a, it's a door. It's a, it's derby, a derby. Like no door. one looks at our derby no. at all, and tonight's just shown why they, yeah. they should. I bet Sky loved it. I must have done. They'll, I'll be watching it when I get back. They'll be absolutely. 
themselves on one of the penalty. Uh, Ryan Hardy, of course, changed the game. How do you feel about him today? Oh, I love him. I would have his babies. Yeah, same with you. I think he's a great impact player, that's my view. Yeah, I think I, he's a better impact player. I literally player. said during just before full time, this is why we cannot sell him in January. I know he's been off form lately, but this is why we cannot sell him. If he wants to go, then yeah, maybe we got, haven't got a choice or something. But Do we think he's going? Is there rumours that he's going? No, I don't, there hasn't been any rumours. But he, he don't look thing enough, is, he thing is, if you bring him on in the last third of a game with his pace, yeah. he's going to murder yeah, the yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, exactly. No, I, 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 that's what I just think. Especially when you're going to see other teams like Portsmouth, Ipswich, Sheffield Wednesday, I don't know, even Charlton probably, I don't, I don't know, Bolton. Peterborough Derby, they're all gonna they're all gonna try and strengthen January. So are we, we're not gonna lie, but yeah. I just think don't sell him either because it just it's squad depth as well and we need the depth if we wanna win this league this season. I don't think there's anybody in that in that squad that will be unhappy. No, I completely agree. Because yeah. sure he keeps them happy. Yeah. Exactly that. This is our best chance to go back into the championship this is right now. Definitely. Right now, honestly, I just can't believe it. And you know what's even more of an advantage for us? Ipswich, Portsmouth and Charlton have all got a player missing because of the World Cup. So we have to perform during those games when I'm they're not out. I'm concerned about Portsmouth, to be honest, because I don't think they're going to Yeah, they have been awful these last yeah. few games. I mean, they four draws in a row. I know what from I've got so I will be I've got some friends who support Pompey, but they all they, they all said to me they got an injury crisis at the moment. I don't think that as it stands, I don't think anyone's going to stop up in it, us and Ipswich in the top two. No, so, yeah. but especially and did you see Wednesday? Again, did you see Wednesday though against Bristol Rovers? The other yeah. week they were awful. Yeah. But then again, we were awful against Wednesday, but we still came out two one winners. So same as last week, we weren't very good. It's like Shrewsbury cheating, but we still came out two one winners. Yeah. So it's we grinding always, results like these on that we could be champions, honestly. We always find a way uh, to win in different ways. And honestly, guys, and I know it sounds like um, history could repeat itself or something, because yeah, um, as, I, as I was born in 1999, the only two times I've seen Argyle win a league are 2002 in League 2 and 2004 in League 1. Who won the Premier League both those times? Arsenal, and they're currently top of the Premier League. Oh, yeah, history they, might yeah, repeat they, itself. They, yeah. History might repeat itself this season. I don't know, but nah, you can never, you can, you can, you can, um, you can hope, I guess. But yeah, cheers, guys. Up the greens, up the greens. What's your reaction, Kyle? After yeah, that, it was a mad game, a mad game. Um, nah, no worries, mate. Starters, we were all full fast fifteen. Yeah, you know what? I hate to say, I completely agree. But they deserved their goal. I thought. Um, yeah. We scored a quick equaliser, which I think was good. Um, got us right back into the game. Um, but overall, it was a good Devon derby. Really good. I, I was literally looking at this, this game thinking, this is why we love the derby. They're just showing classic games like that, honestly. Indeed. Who was our best player, would you say, tonight? Party Mother by Mario. Yeah, no, he I controlled thought... controlled everything. Also, Dan Scar, he was yeah. good in the air. Um, I think Barney Yeah, I thought, I thought, oh yeah, what a finish it was, oh honestly. No, I, I thought Mumba and, and Whitaker were the two best, but I thought Hardy was the one that changed the game. Indeed, indeed. And I just think that performance from Hardy alone is literally the reason why we can't bloody sell him in January. I know no one's talking about him, but I know he's been off form lately. Yeah. And the last thing we want to do is sell someone and then we end up dropping form yeah. just because of that one selling or something. The, the thing is, when Hardy comes on, he will score. Um, he starts, he'll score, but he's, he's mainly um, comes on and changes the game. And I think it was very good substitution by Steven Schumacher. Yeah, no, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. You're now confident for Lincoln away in two yes. weeks. Yeah, very That'll confident. be a hard game, though, as well, because they, they beat it, switch, they drew with Portsmouth, yeah. they drew with Sheffield Wednesday, yeah. they drew with Charlton, they beat Derby. Well. So it won't be easy, but I'm no more confident now after yeah. tonight. A lot of people were doubting. Um, us with Exeter because um, I know Exeter has a good few results from Neil to Derby yeah. and a few others but it was a good game like I said um, yeah bring on I will have to hastily ask this question but was there any one for the Exeter. Grecians that s stood out for you tonight um that number nine is it Jay Jay, Jay Stansfield yeah I, th I think he was good he got in behind quite a lot um, got the fast um, got the fast goal we got an assist for the fast goal didn't he um, but yeah, he was the standout player, I think. Yeah, no, that makes sense. No, definitely. Um, I was going to say, what, um, think we're going up this season? Yeah. Where did you have us to finish this season at the start of the year? I had us third. third well, that's um, not too bad. No, I, I went optimistic. I went second. So, because yeah. I was think... confident in the players we had, even though we sold Kamara. But that was on deadline day anyway. So, yeah. And the season started at the end of the July. So, 
I was confident in us, but yeah, I can see why people put us third. Yeah. I literally, and also I turned YouTube off immediately when I saw a lot of people putting us 11, 540, you having a laugh. Yeah. Look at our squad, but yeah, I'll take third to be yeah. fair. I think playoffs is what we want most anyway, but I, yeah. with the season we got so far, we're definitely going for automatics, 100%. Yeah, that, Honestly, good. Kyle, this is our best chance to be back in the championship yeah. since 2010. I've, I've never back seen where we belong. And, so. Oh, I was lucky, I am. I'm a 99 kid, yeah. so. I grew up with us in the championship, and then we bloody went down two divisions. I, so I, I hated started watching it. I go when we got relegated that past season. Um, what in 2010 to League One? Yeah, oh, that's okay. when I started. So yeah, no, that's fair enough. But no, hopefully we're back there, and then hopefully we get the Premier League dream in a few years' time. I do, so yeah. I do. What's your thoughts on the game, Neil? As an Exeter fan, excellent game. Sky must be really, really happy. Yeah. Um, we did well to go in front twice. Yeah. We can't let you come back twice, and then yeah. I'll substitute. Seen the mess of the game up, and you took advantage. Yeah. And you went ahead. Uh, yeah. Got it, but great game. Great game. Fair enough. Yeah, no, I'm happy with the performance, though, regardless. Yeah, I mean, we, we've got we've got some mad. I mean, Stan's doing is immense. He's on loan from the He's really good. Uh, number two in the back, he played well. Black wins in goal. He has got a lot of chances in goal. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Ryan Arley, when he came on, he's, he's good. I thought Hardy changed the game for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah towards the end, he did. Yeah. No, definitely, I agree. Oh, you got four. You got four. Yeah, so I'm doing it. That's why I'm doing it to you. <laughs> Two. Either way, though, must be delighted with your performance either way, Neil. Yeah, because yeah, we, we, we're not, we're not going to get down hearted with that. We lost the game, but it's all right. Yeah, confident you'll be in League One again next year. If we realize. stay up, that, that start of the season, stay up, stay up, yeah. and then move on. Yeah, that's fair yeah, enough. That's what we're looking for. That makes sense. Who is your best player tonight? You thought? Stanfield. 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 Yeah. Easy. That makes sense. Is there anyone for our goal you thought that stood out tonight? Ali when he came on. Ah, fair enough. Fair I enough. wasn't sure why you gave man of the match to him. You we gave, gave it to Whitaker. Yeah. But some of our fans are saying Mumba, Sam, yeah, yeah, Mumba was good. good. And I'm just there like, oh, you never know, you could give it to Hardy to change the game and stuff. But yeah, um, yeah I thought Mumba had an immense game tonight. I thought Mumba was good. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, Whitaker did score a goal today. Yeah, I was happy with that. I had 3-2 as well. You had 3-2? 3-2. I had 5-2 well. So close. Well. When you had 5-2? I had 5-2, yeah. Yeah, so did Alex. Alex did. Kev. 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 Yes. At home. Uh, we're, we, we're, we're only up. Yeah. The players have come back from injury. Yeah. Jack came on tonight in the second half. Yeah. He, he needed that game to get back on the Yeah, side. I will be honest, I was a bit surprised if Arnie was on the bench, so I thought he must have been injured or something. He wasn't He wasn't right. Oh, I see. So they, they wrecked him. And to be honest, when they brought him on, it didn't do us any good. Yeah. No, I can, I can see where you're coming from there. i tell you what though, you guys brought a lot tonight, which is brilliant from you lot as well. Which, I, to be honest, I expected that obviously anyway, but yeah, no, honestly. What's the best thing that comes out of Exeter? The N20, no, the N4. <laughs> <laughs> that was close, that was close. M25. Oh no, mate, no, honestly, no. Um, um, is there an... Um, but yeah, you definitely think you're going to stay up this season now. Our target start the season has yeah. to be to stay up. And yeah. I think we will. Nah. We've started well. Yeah. We've got a new young man to come in. Cole well. Yeah. It's going to be good. How did you feel when um, oh, when um, Matty Taylor exactly left, when. left the club for Rotherham? We have always, because we support Rams, all we ever do is try and bring people on. And if they've got a better opportunity, fair play, on you go, Sam. And yeah. that's with the players, with the management, everything. Yeah, so that's, when, that's Matt got that off, when Matt got that offer, you've got to say good luck. Yeah, no, that makes sense, that makes sense, but yeah, no, honestly, yeah, no, fair play, fair play, fair play. Um, to be fair, I know you still got Ipswich to play, and to be fair, I know you're our biggest rivals, but you could do us a favour that game. We can do you a Because you haven't played Ipswich yet, and, 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 and guess what? And guess what? Ipswich is on Sky as well. But next to Ipswich Yeah, they've got us on that as well. If I go on playing like the same day, I will be watching that and reacting to it from my home. Well, why, 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 can you, you, you use Sky? You've got Ipswich as well, Sky. Yeah.
No, it's good for you. You only got eight. You can only get. Yeah, you can only get eight throws at Crow. That's it's good for you. It's a twelve o'clock kickoff. I got one day from London. London. <laughs> and before the start of the season, where did you have? Um, where did you have access to finish the season? Struggling. Oh, okay. Staying up. Struggling and staying up. Because have you got a number? 19th, 18th, 20th? No. Before the season, yeah. I didn't know. No. 12th upwards. Okay. Fine. Fair, 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 fair play to the Oxford. Fair play to the Oxford. Yeah. Nah, cheers for that, Neil. I appreciate Enjoyed it. Enjoyed that. Alright, of course, guys, it's full time. Argyle for Exeter 2. I've got Argyle fan here, Maggie. What was your thoughts on the game? Oh, it was absolutely brilliant. I thought I, would, I knew they was going to win. And when they got 3-2, I knew they were going to get another goal. They were absolutely brilliant. I'm not even brilliant. Yeah, no, definitely. Anyone that you thought stood out for um, Argyle tonight? Uh, Whittaker. Yeah, they, he's a brilliant game, wasn't Whittaker it? Whittaker was really good. And I knew they were going to, get, they were going to win. Oh, fair After play, fair goal, play. I knew they were going to get the fourth. You know what's funny though? I predicted before the game for this to be 5-2 and it nearly was as well. I, when yeah. we scored the fourth, I was like, come on, let's please get the fifth. Yes, I really let's thought please when get they the got fifth. three goals, I thought they were going to get five, but I'll give it four. I'll yeah, give yeah. it four. Yeah, fair enough. Like do, you think we'll go, do you think we're going up this season? Oh, definitely. They've got to we go love to hear this. The second half, our guy always plays really well in the second half. Yeah. When he brings on these subs, they are brilliant. You know, when they have no, won, definitely. Like every game I've been to, they've always won. And they're brilliant. Yeah, no, definitely. Before the start of the season, where did you have Plymouth to finish this season? Uh, Top. <laughs> I had a second to be bad. I was confident in us. No, this season. I'm, I'm going to say top. They're going to go top this season. Nah, I'd love Definitely. to hear that. Think we'll, think we'll beat Lincoln away next week. Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. come yeah. on. All right, guys, of course, full time Plymouth Argyle for Exeter City 2. We got Nigel, Argyle fan, and Tony, Exeter fan here. What's your thoughts on the game, guys? I uh, thought it was a brilliant game. Yeah, same. What about you, even though we lost took, tonight? Uh, even though we lost tonight, it was a good game of football. It wasn't like, you know, you kind of like straining your neck. No, like straining your neck, yeah. yeah, yeah. It, was probably, all, it was all on football. the ground. It was all on the ground. Yeah, yeah. honestly. And, you know, okay, we went, you know, we scored first. Yeah. And then, obviously, the... Um, Equalizer 2 1. Definitely. And, two, and then you sort of like went on to win the Definitely. game. Definitely. This is why we're one of the most underrated derbies in the country. 100%. Exactly. It's true. Games yeah, yeah, like true. that yeah, we've yeah, just yeah, had tonight. Yeah. Absolute classic yeah. that was. Yeah. It was yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Who do you think? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, sorry, Tony. See, what I was going to say was this. Is that tonight we Yeah, we're going to find the pop, the thing on the back of the poppy. <laughs> <laughs> Argon Pompey wouldn't be like this. No, it wouldn't. Argon. No, you, you made a point there. No, you know what's funny? You guys got to play Portsmouth this season as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I can't gonna, wait for that game to be fair. Yeah. I'll be but, there like I'll be there like I know they're our biggest rivals. They could do us a favour here yeah, against Portsmouth for Boxing Day. Boxing Day, yeah, yeah. And we've got Ipswich switch to play as well. You've got Peterborough yeah. next as well. Yeah. Cool, cool some favours for us. I think you're right now. Next to play. I think it'll be Ipswich. I think we'll be Ipswich. You know what, that would do us a favour at the table. The way, way I'm feeling, I mean, I regardless of whether it does you yeah. a favour or not, exactly. it does us a favour. Yeah. It does, That's yeah. three it does. more points yeah. away, yeah. away from relegation. Yeah. yeah. That's fair enough. You know? So, yeah, we'll, we'll, start with, we'll start with you, Tony. Who do you think was Axis' best player today? I reckon uh, you're number two. Yeah, uh, Caprice. Oh, Caprice. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. Uh, so it was Argyle's best player today. I reckon Ryan Ardy when he come on. You know what, I thought he changed the game for us as well. I completely agree. Yeah. Yeah. If I had to choose one stand-up player of the whole game, I'd go with Mumba personally. But yeah. Hardy, yeah, no. I think Hardy coming on is proof of why we cannot sell him in January. It doesn't matter if he's off form or not. We need to keep our squad in depth because that'll be better for us if we want to go up this season. Yeah. This is honestly our best chance to be in the championship for 2010. And to be perfectly honest, I think XO will be fine. In the league you know what? I think you'll stay up as well. I think fine. you'll be no problem. Yeah. Where did you have yeah, Exeter to, you where did you have extra to finish at the start of the season? I reckon mid table. Mid table, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe 13th, maybe 12th, 14th. No, I reckon 10th. 10th, 14th. Oh, really? That's strong. Yeah, that's a strong mid table finish. I think the way you play tonight, yeah. I think the way you play tonight, I reckon they'll be 10th. Uh, 
Yeah, if you if you use any extra value, the line you as well, honestly. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, we well, if we finish if we finish ten, yeah, I'm going to get you a bottle of champagne. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fair enough, guys. Fair enough. But yeah, because I had us. I mean. Because the money we've yeah. got, yeah. you know, it's like unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, you've got like your Peterboroughs, your Pompey. Yeah. Yourself, I'll tell you what, it's one of the hardest teams. It's one of the hardest leagues to get out of. It is. This is the championship, yeah, yeah. I agree. Last hardest. year, we had Sunderland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Sunderland got bad 6 0 by Bolton last season, but still went up. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. mental. I know. We, we, I knew we bloody went from 5th to 7th on the last day. I was yeah, I gutted. But and then we lost 4 0. To, to be fair, to be fair to Exeter, when I saw them go up, I was like, yes, our biggest rivals. But to be fair, the Derby's back, so I'll take that any day of the week. Yeah. So, uh, I can't wait for the away leg in April now, so yeah, it'll yeah, be yeah. mental. Yeah. But the good thing is, right, even though we are. Deadly rivals. Yes. Now currently post game, um, you know Nigel has got his arm around me, and I've got my arm around Nigel. Yeah. Yep. And that's what football should be about. I agree. Completely agree. Completely agree. You know, agree. Yeah. You know and, it's I respect mean, as well, and you're good yeah, mates. Yeah. So. Oh, honestly, yeah. since this is the Devon Derby, I will have to mention this. Torquay. What do you guys think of Torquay so far this season? They're not doing well, are they? I, I feel sorry for Torquay. They're not doing well, are they? Bottom no. of the National League. Yeah. And my, my fear for Torquay. And yeah. Can I speak to Yeah, yeah of course you can. Okay. My fear for Torquay, the bottom of the National League, and they're likely to go into the National League side. They could be facing Truro next season if they're not careful. Well, the thing is, is that the further down you go, yeah. the less money that's available. And I really, really, really do worry yeah. for the survival of Torquay. Yeah, no, fair enough, fair, fair enough. enough. And, to be and, fair, the two clubs did help each other out in administration difficulties as well, despite their rivalry. Well, they helped us They out. helped you guys in when I grew up with football back in the early 2000s. Yeah, 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 and yeah. then... And then just this decade gone, it's the other way around because Torquay have been yeah. financially been looked well, after last few years. When we got relegated into non league in 2003, three, yeah. uh, Mike Bateson, who was the owner of Torquay at that time, yeah. he said, Right, we, we, you know, we've lost like a 50 grand payday. Yeah. And he said, Right, we'll have a pre season friendly, all the proceeds to Exeter the City. Yeah. And, and it's like, you know, that was brilliant because it was a sellout and stuff. But now, you kind of see where Torquay are now. Yeah. And, you know, I know you are, girl. You are, girl. I'm the yeah. accident. Yeah. And, you know, we and all... Bruce, Bruce, didn't it? Uh, when you think of it, that if it comes to him well, like with you, with your company, you the fans run club, yeah. and we're run by Simon, yeah. who I think I has, love done, Simon. Who has done a brilliant job because he knows exactly how to finance the club. Yeah. And now he's brought in more American owners. Yeah. So, to be perfectly honest, our two clubs are better more club than what Tokyo are. Yeah, yeah. And it breaks my heart. I think they will be back in League Two in the years to come. Though, I hope so. I think mean, they will be. I'd love to see Torquay. I mean, look, look, yeah. look at Stockport. They've been in the National League for years. They've just finally got themselves back up. Can I mean, happen. I mean, Same with Yeovil, another West Country team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd yeah, like yeah. to see Torquay, Yeovil, Exeter, Plymouth all doing well. And yeah. Truro. <laughs> but, I'm Cornish, so they are my other favourite team. Truro, Truro, also. Truro as well. Yeah, no, there's two life goals I want in my life, and that's Truro in League Two at least, and Argyle in the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're I mean, my two I life mean goals. to be perfectly honest, why can't Argyle be in the Premier League when Bournemouth can? You know, and, you know what, that's funny, because I think we're a bigger club than Bournemouth as well. Why can't Argyle be in the Premier League when Bournemouth can? Because Bournemouth's in your town. Yeah, well, I mean, Bournemouth is smaller than Amsterdam. Bournemouth's a huge and town, and whereas smaller. Truro's a city, but it's tiny, yeah. so... Yeah, 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 yeah. But, I mean, the thing is, right, I mean, I mean, could you imagine Torquay in League... Uh, sorry, not Torquay, Truro, yeah. in League 2? 
Yeah, yeah, unreal, really really. You know what I mean? Yeah. He nearly got to the National League one season with Blimmin Maidstone knocked them out in the semi finals. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was gutted. Yeah. Did I tell gutted. you, I was uh, in um, the Grange Center at Tall Point. Oh, yeah. And I think Tall Point is just as good as Evil. True. To be fair, I know um, I know all the Cornish clubs have their own rivals and stuff, but as I'm yeah. Cornwall, I want any club from Cornwall, yeah. to be honest. My dad used to play for Mousel, so we are all from West Cornwall. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and um, same with Falmouth. Like, yeah. Falmouth and Truro are pretty much arch rivals, but yeah. I want them both. Oh, yeah, yeah, well. yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Tall Point in Milburn. Yeah. <laughs> or Saltastra, yeah. certainly. This was so. like Argo and Exeter. That's just as bad. Milbrook, Milbrook, Tall Point, Saltastra, and Plymouth Parkway all together was yeah. unreal. So. That's absolutely the Norwegian thing. Yeah, that's pretty spicy. But yeah, no, going back to bringing it back to Truro City. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, I mean that would be like brilliant for yeah. football in Cornwall. Oh, it would be 100. percent But best of luck for Peter Brown next game. Do you think you'll do you think you'll win that? You will. Even losing tonight though, but putting performance in, you will probably be happy with. Yeah, I'll go with Nigel. I think you're drawn. I think, you're drawn. I think the new manager still got a bed in. Fair enough. Yeah, fair I enough. think so. I reckon you'd be fine. Yeah, new manager. Yeah. Makes sense. Thank you, Nigel. Alright, we got another Argyle fan on. We got we got Leon. Um Hi, what, mate. What, what do you think of the game then, Leon? I mean you know, Argyle fat, four exit to two. Fat far staff, we we were you know, we were look quite nervous in my opinion. Yeah, I know I thought that as well. Yeah. Right, so. Um but you know, second half I think Shui changed it, but hardly on. Give us a bit a bit of pace up front and you know it paid dividends. Yeah, no, fair enough. Who was that, who do you think was our best player tonight, mate? Bally Mumba. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I completely agree. Although I did think Hardy changed the game though, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, is there anyone for um, anyone for Exeter that you thought played well tonight? I mean I think Jay Stansfield, number nine, played, yeah, yeah. played really well. He looked really up for it. Um, so I think you know, all in all, I think Exeter are the, the, in the first half were the better team. Second half we really come up for it, didn't we, Jack? Nah, definitely, definitely. Um, Cheers, mate. No worries. Oh my God, this is this is now completely from my honest opinions. Now I've spoken to the f sets of fans. What a game! This is why the Devon Derby, no matter if it's Plymouth versus Exeter, or Exeter versus Torquay, or Torquay versus us, Plymouth, mighty Plymouth Argyle, it's one of the most underrated derbies in the whole country. Tonight on Sky on Halloween just proved why our derby is so entertaining to watch. 4 2. Six goals. I nearly got it spot on as well. I went with 5 2 before the game, but only one goal missed out. But oh well. Uh, either way, though, what a match. And like the Shrewsbury game as well, we came back amazingly as well. From being behind twice, Exeter in the lead twice. They scored the goal to give them the lead. We equalised immediately. Then they went 2-1 up at the start of the second half. And we made some mistakes, especially some in the middle of the pitch before Exeter's second goal. And then... Once again, we have just turned it around, and I honestly cannot believe it. It's grinding results like these that's definitely putting us a candidate of going up this season, back to where we belong in the championship. Oh my God. Oh my God, what a match. What a match. Plymouth 4, Exeter 2. And to be fair, as much as I'm delighted that we won, I am actually glad, in a way, that they gave us a game, Exeter, to make it a really good game of football and that they lost as well, so even better. Honestly, my man of the match was Bally Mumba, but I thought Ryan Hardy did change the game for us with those two goals. It's that reason why we have to keep him in our squad, no matter what. We cannot. I know he's been off form lately, but... We cannot afford for him to leave the club in January. Tonight has just showed why as well. We've got to keep this squad in depth if we want to go for promotion this season. Honestly, I can't believe it. I honestly cannot believe it. What a match. And against our fiercest rivals as well. 
an amazing game. An amazing game on Halloween and on Sky as well. Oh my God, I have no words to say. Up the greens, up the massive pilgrims. Well, this is actually the perfect song right now. Considering tonight. We're top of the league, so what can you say? Right, guys, celebrate your drink. Must need it after that. Honestly, you couldn't ask for any better than that tonight. Argyle winning in my Yossi outfit. Unreal. Unreal. You just can't get any better than that, can you? And I've nearly lost my voice. I nearly lost my voice. Up the greens. Let's hopefully get promoted this season. Oh my God, I can't believe it. When they pull on the green, they're all janitors. 